to help you get your high school junior ready for college. What should they be doing right now? How important are their grades? What should they know about taking the SAT or the, SA or the ACT? And what can parents do to help them? Joining us this morning is Ryan Riggs. He is the Director of College Counseling at Episcopal School of Jacksonville. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jen. Thanks do you, for having me. Do you find that juniors tend to be a little bit, ah, I don't have to worry about that now, and maybe they are a little bit of the procrastinator and shouldn't be? They are. Everyone thinks this is a senior year process, yeah. but really juniors need to be active now and really get going. Uh, don't wait until February and March if you're a high school junior or the parent of a high school junior. Get, get going right now. Uh, and how important are grades? Uh, Jen, grades are the most important. Uh, everyone thinks, oh, if I'm active and I do all this other stuff, then colleges will overlook my grades. But grades are number one priority for any high school student and especially high school juniors. I, I know I've got relatives who are taking the SAT, in fact, on Saturday. Yes. I mean, do juniors already need to have signed up to take the SAT this year or should they wait till next year? No, the, and th that's a great question. Thank you. They, um, juniors need to make sure that they take the SAT at least once or twice this spring. Their SAT is offered in March, May, and June. And then also juniors can take the ACT. And does it matter how many times you take it? No, and that's the great thing, is that there's a rumor out there that after two or three times and the score doesn't count. And that's just false. What happens is the colleges will look at your best score no matter when you take the test. And no matter how low maybe the other scores were? Exactly, yes. Okay. Once you earn a high score, that score is in the bank. And it can't go down. Okay, even if even if the next time you take it you don't score as well. Exactly. Okay, so that's a that's exactly. an encouragement. Yes. I know, do you need to bring a cal you need to bring a calculator. Does it matter yes. what kind of calculator for anybody taking it Saturday? Honestly, the simplest calculator is fine. Uh, students should know they cannot use the calculator on their iPhone or iPad or Samsung or any any device that has Wi-Fi or internet access. So just a simple calculator is the best. It's important. And I just have to ask this quickly too. Let's say you're going through the SAT and you can't finish all of the questions. Should you just guess on them or not answer them? No, students should guess. And that's a recent change in the SAT. You only earn points for the answers that you get correct. You don't get penalized for ones that you miss. Now, parents can help plan college visits. You suggest starting local. Yes. Why? Yes. Oh, well, one, we have some great local colleges and universities right here. And two, the process doesn't have to be outrageously expensive. You don't have to get on a plane and fly to Boston to go visit colleges. Start right here in our hometown. Go visit JU. Go visit UNF. Drive down to Flagler and St. Augustine or Stetson or University of Florida. These are simple day trips to take, and all these schools offer visits all day and even some on Saturdays. And they won't cost you an arm and a leg because you don't have to play for a pl pay for a plane ticket. Exactly. All right, so we've got three or four questions that parents really need to be asking sure. during these college tours. So let's start sure. with that. What are the sizes of first-year classes? Why do you think that's such an important question to ask? Well, every college loves to trot out the stat about how small their class sizes are. And you probably remember yeah. that. Oh, from, sure. Yeah. Um, those numbers are skewed, though, by fourth-year classes, senior classes for seniors that are very small. So parents and students should be asking, what is the size of an average class for freshmen? What's the size of biology 101? Right. Yeah, it's going to so be a very different number. When, because you don't want them to be overwhelmed, certainly when they show up for the class. So they at least know, even exactly. if they want to continue to go to the, sto to the school. Exactly. Uh, what is your retention rate? That's an important one. Yes. If uh, re the retention rate refers to how many students come back after their freshman year. So from freshman year to sophomore year. And if students are leaving the school in droves, well, that tells you something. However, if 90%, 95% of the students are returning as sophomores, that's an indicator uh, that it's a good university. And not a bad idea also for the third question, kind of put the tour guide a little bit on the spot and ask yes. questions. Yes, exactly. And if you have a tour guide who's honest and outgoing and engaging to the tour, that person will answer the question honestly. Hey, here's what I like about the school, but here's some things that I think we can improve. Ryan, thank you very much. Great information. And again, a reminder to all of those juniors out there, do not procrastinate, right? Exactly. <laughs> right. Number one rule. <laughs> so for more information, by the way, you can visit newsforjax.com where you'll find this entire interview as well as a link to free SAT prep courses that are offered by Khan Good. Academy, Good. the best prep course really to take, as Ryan has told us, in, in fact, in the past, to get your high school junior ready for the SAT or even the ACT.